This video will give more information about the online academic petition process. You can access the online academic petition through Banner Self Service. This online process is used only for active undergraduate students. Inactive students will still use the paper version of the academic petition form, and graduate students will continue to use the special request form. This means that the paper form is still available, however we encourage the online process for those who are able to use it. Routing for the online academic petition is just like the paper forms. It is simply routed through an online process. Only associate deans have the ability to approve or not approve requests. All others are responsible for providing recommendations. The online academic petition process will automatically email the student with a decision as well as any associate dean comments. All final processing for the petition will be completed by the Office of the Registrar. The link for the online academic petition system can be found on the Faculty and Advisors menu in Banner Self Service. When you select this link, you will be taken to the petition main menu. The main menu will indicate any students that need to be reviewed. The petition information is found in the middle portion of the form. An email reminder is sent every day if there are any students that need to be reviewed. There is an Approvers menu on the left-hand side of the page that provides you with a few options. The Student Search option allows you to search for any student by ID number or name. This will show all petitions for a student including past petitions or current ones that may be in the queue. Processed History will give a history of petitions that you have made recommendations on. And Petition on behalf of student allows you to submit a petition for the student. This feature is particularly helpful for advisors. Reminder emails are sent once a day for students that need to be reviewed. Depending on your role, you may receive multiple emails. For example, if you are an advisor as well as an instructor. To view a student's academic petition, click the Select button next to their information. Once the petition is selected, the top portion of the page will display the petition submitted by the student. You are able to use the Expand All, Collapse All button in the lower right corner to view more or less information related to the petition. The sections that the student is required to enter are the same as on the paper form. For instructors that are required to make a recommendation on an academic petition, under the student's petition information is the section to be completed by the instructor. Appropriate radio buttons can be selected and any comments can be added. The comments will not be seen by the student, only by other staff involved in the academic petition processing queue. All sections do not need to be filled out, but it is recommended. For advisors that are required to make a recommendation on an academic petition, the appropriate radio buttons can be selected and any comments can be added. Again, the comments will not be viewed by the student, only by other staff involved in the petition queue. All sections are recommended to be filled out, but are not required. For chairpersons that are required to make a recommendation on an academic petition, the options are the same as the instructors and advisors. At the bottom of the page, additional information is displayed, which allows them to see the comments made by previous people in the queue. You are able to use the Expand All, Collapse All button in the lower right corner to view more or less information related to the petition. Anyone with the ability to access the online academic petition system are able to submit working notes. These notes are not visible to the student, but can be seen by anyone viewing the petition. Since there are many people that are able to submit notes, please indicate today's date as well as your name next to any comments that you submit. The online academic petition system is available in 49er Express through Banner Self Service. It is available for all active undergraduate students. The routing is the same as the paper forms, but routed through an online process. Reminder emails are sent once per day. The online academic petition process will automatically email the student with any decisions, as well as any associate dean comments. Only associate deans have the ability to approve or not approve requests. 
All others provide recommendations. Any final processing of the petition is completed by the Office of the Registrar. If you have questions about this process or need more information, please contact the Office of the Registrar through email registrar at uncc.edu or by phone 704-687-5505.